I'm mad. I'm mad. They Yo, my man is doing an X. My man is My man is doing an X. What? What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? So you think you have to be a great video editor or hire a video editor to create engaging viral content? But have you been seeing these faceless videos that have been getting thousands and sometimes millions of views and the people making these are not even getting in front of the camera, not even using their voice and not even editing the whole video. So you wanna know how they do this? AI, and someone gave me a big tip on what tool they're actually using. So are you gonna tell us, Nikki? Are you gonna tell us? So hold on, let's see if this is true. Come with me, whether you're a beginner or you've been creating content for a while, as I walk you through a new AI tool called Pictory that will take your script or your article and turn it into a viral video. You ready? Let's go. No, like now, you, let's, let's go. From when you sign in, I, I'm using the free version. Y'all know I don't do the paid version because we just trying this stuff out. And if we like it, then we'll get the paid version. So what it says is script to video. It says article to video, edit video using text, and then visuals to video. Let's do TechCrunch. Shout out to TechCrunch. You know what, let's just use this one. Let's just use this one. This is a nice article. It says stuff about Elon. I'm not gonna read it in, in detail because this is what I'm gonna make this for. So boom, we're going to paste this and we're going to proceed. It got the article, and then it said AI powered summary. So it created some scenes. Let's see what these scenes do. It says the scenes just killed, scene one, a judge just killed Elon Musk lawsuit for anti-hate research. And it's pretty much the title. The scene two is a, a federal judge cited against Elon today, cited against Elon today, dismissing a lawsuit brought by Musk and X targeted a nonprofit that researches online hate. United States District Judge of the Northern District of California, Charles B. Breyer, granted a CCDH motion to dismiss on Monday. And they break this down. And you can see where it grabbed it based off the highlighted stuff, right? So we're gonna press next. Oh, wow. Wait, that was, that was quick. Hold on. Hold on. That was low-key quick. I'm not, I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this at all. Introducing hyper-realistic AI voice. Hold your seats. Our new AI voices powered by Eleven Labs. Shout out to Eleven Labs. You know that's one of our favorite ones. Are here. Experience mind-blowing realism today. Dive in. The only thing to do with good advice is to pass it on. It is never of any use. Allow the world to live as it chooses and allow yourself to live as you choose. So th that voice, the Adam voice, I don't know how many of y'all type one. If you've heard that voice on TikTok and Instagram, that's one of the most popular AI voices right now. And it actually works in no matter what niche you are in. So I'm actually going to use that one. Apply. It got music. Okay. I got, what's what these music sounds like? I'm just not a fan of that, but that's okay. This says, show down at a really big A word. I see what they did. So they said show down because Elon was in a lawsuit. Well, you know what? AI is smart. AI is smart. All right, let's see what this playing like. Oh, generating. So, uh, Cash Cow goes, when creating a thumbnail, which would be better option, Canva or Photoshop? It depends on your your skills. Yeah, it depends on your skills. A judge so just killed Elon Musk's lawsuit against an anti-hate research org, TechCrunch. It created a minute and three video though. I'm kind of impressed by that just off top. Just the length of the video, I'm very impressed by. Now, the quality, I don't know. We already know the voice. I'm not going to be super impressed by the voice because I'm very familiar with it. 
So, okay, as hold up before we continue with this video, I just want to make sure get a temp check. How are you feeling about this AI tool so far? Okay, do you think it has potential? You think it's good enough? What, do, what are you thinking so far? First impressions is very, very important. And then plus, uh, in the description below, I got a newsletter that has already talked about this AI tool and continues to talk about more AI tools, content uh, tips, social media updates, and more. Plus I give you a 30 day social media planner that me and ET did, okay? So let's get back to this video. Uh, so let me go back to Cash Cow Kurt. Canva is for, it's not necessarily for beginners, but it's definitely not for graphic designers. So graphic designers are super proud of using Photoshop, Illustrator, and things like that, right? Uh, more with options and flexibility on what you would like to do. Now Canva makes it just very easy as far as plug and play um, some of these features that you, um, would take you a few to do on Photoshop. You can do with a snap of a finger on Canva, which one's better for thumbnails. It all depends on your vision than necessarily the tool. It's never about the tool. It is about what you want to create and how do you make it best work with the tool that you have. So if you're cool with Canva, Stay on Canva. If you're cool with Photoshop, stay with Photoshop, right? I use both because I'm not necessarily that good with Photoshop. And if I need something really quick, like y'all know, I don't have patience. I'm gonna use Canva. I'm gonna use Canva. So, okay, let's go back to this because this is not, this is not working. This is not working. So can we, can we do this? I'm mad. I'm mad. They What is happening? Oh, I mean, I give props to the AI for figuring that out, but, but come on. But <laughs> my man is doing the next. What are, how did we get here? How did we get Breyer here? also denied Musk and X the opportunity to relitigate the case. <laughs> oh, this is so good. This is so good. This is so good. I'm not mad at this AI tool. I'm really not. I think this is actually one of the better ones when it comes to just uh Sometimes it is unclear what is driving a litigation, and only by reading between the lines of a complaint can one attempt to surmise a plaintiff's true purpose, Judge Breyer stated in the ruling. Oh, come on with the quote. Come on with the quote. Let's see what this is talking about. I don't like that I have to go scene by scene. That I'm not, that I'm not a fan of. Can change the ratios from different platforms, okay. X Corp has brought this case in order to punish CCDH for CCDH publications that criticized X Corp. And perhaps in order to dissuade others who might wish to engage in such critics. And then the last one, what, what is that doing? What's, what's happening over there? Oh, mm, generating preview. Maybe I gotta put this in a different, let's, let's put it in a different joint. Boom. Let's see what this does. Okay, I had to put it in a different window. Fine. I'm not emotionally attached to anything. A judge just killed Elon Musk's lawsuit against an anti-hate research org, TechCrunch. A federal judge sided against Elon Musk today, dismissing a lawsuit brought by Musk and X that targeted a nonprofit that researches online hate. United States District Judge of the Northern District of California, Charles R. Breyer granted the CCDH's motion to dismiss on Monday. Breyer also denied Musk and X the opportunity to relitigate the case. Sometimes it is unclear what is driving a litigation, and only by reading between the lines of a complaint can one attempt to surmise a plaintiff's true purpose, Judge Breyer stated in the ruling. 
X Corp has brought this case in order to punish CCDH for CCDH publications that criticized X Corp. And perhaps in order to dissuade others who might wish to engage in such critics. In the months following Musk's takeover of Twitter, the CCDH highlighted the rise of hate speech on the platform, including a report that explored how his decision to unban a number of highly followed extremists could give the company an ad revenue boost. Uh, Janita asked, I see, you said how much? Let's, let's figure that out. Let's figure that out. 1999, 1999, it doesn't say 1999. 19 bucks, 39 bucks, 99 bucks, right? And so 19 bucks will give you 1.5 million plus story blocks, visuals, 34 standard videos, 30 videos a month, up to 10 minutes text to video, 10 hours of video transcriptions, one custom brand kit, 500 music tracks, and then changing the format into vertical square and what looks like, I want to say portrait. I don't, yeah, the, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, or is that, no, I think that's horizontal, square, and vertical. I don't even think that's portrait. And then this one looks like you could change the number of videos a month. Okay, interesting. So you will be able to create each video up to eight minutes. Six, oh, okay. Okay, that's interesting. So same. So 10 million story blocks and Getty visuals. So they give you more visuals with the 39 a month, 48 hyper realistic AI voices. So they give you 11 labs, uh, automatic voiceover synchronization, 20 hours of video descriptions, more music, more brand kits, uh, more standard voices. And now you're getting to change the video resolution up to 1080p, which is what majority of all social media platforms upload. You don't have to do 4K. It compresses it down to 1080. So be aware of that. And then the 99 a month is includes everything, but adds a professional plan features, which they didn't even go more into detail besides maybe the team members. So do I like it? I do. I do. I think this is something that I'll, I'll, I'll mess with a little bit more. So what do we think? Do we like it? Do we not? Give me from one to 10 how you feel. One being the worst, 10 being, oh my God, this is amazing. And then of course, watch this next AI video.